Alright, hello guys. Today I'm showing you a sick, sick, sick effect in Sony Vegas. I know I said I wasn't going to do any more Sony Vegas tutorials, but I have to show you this one because that's how good it looks. So here is the clip that you guys can start the edit with. Um, I already twisted out a clip. Uh, if you guys want to download it, I'll put it in the description. And you guys can try this effect with me. So one, you're going to need my editing pack. Two, well you don't have to have my editing pack, but you need like optical flare picture but um this isn't no bullshit I actually know how to make it look like it's actually a real optical flare glowing onto something here's the example um it looks kinda bad right here but if you wanna see a good one go to my last video it's called Dare Duncan Editing Contest and then once you look at that then you can come right back to here and come watch it alright so here is the regular clip that has nothing on it and here is the final flare what you're going to do, also it has to be just a clip that you're using, it can't just be twixtered, it has to be um, twixtered out already, it can't just have nothing on it, and then you add the twixter because then the keyframe will be all messed up. Oh yeah, by the way, this is an advanced tutorial, if you're not really good in Sony Vegas, I suggest not doing this. Also you need magical looks, really easy to get it now, you just type in magical looks new version for free and then you just uh, put the search on the, onto uh, this month and then there's going to be a lot of s tutorials on how to do it alright so here is the magic bowl looks let's click on the effect so it's ready so right now you want the preview on draft and half so you can find where the twixter starts and ends so I'm going to add it here and somewhere around here that it ends I just want it that long and I'll end it there Make a new video track, and now on the original, I'm gonna drag default of Magic Bullet Looks onto it and click Edit. Now that you've done that, if you have regular or new Magic Bullet Looks, you're gonna go on the Lens, Edge Softness. You're gonna put this in just a tiny bit more, and you're gonna zoom this in, and then put it near the scope, because that's the spot we want to put the flare. Or if you're putting it on like the text, you can just put it there. So wherever you're putting your optical flare, you want to have the focus there. This is just for the first keyframe. You want to click Animate now. Go towards the last. Add a keyframe. Click on Edit. Now that you've done that, you're going to click on this. Click Reset down here. You're going to drag this really far out. And then drag it even bigger. So it works. Now all the blur is gone. And... You can see it just deteriorates away. But when you're doing the optical flare, it just looks really sick when you have that. It's just a good factor to it. Okay, next I'm going to move the, the marker right here in the beginning of it again. And on top of it, I'm going to open a new file. On my desktop, I'm going to look for my editing pack. Go into custom flare overlays, pictures, and you have a huge variety here to look for a good picture. One, there are these little video ones. They look alright, but I'm just going to click on one that's like, seems like it'll be good. Um, it's kind of blurry, but yeah, this will work. So how you're going to do this is really simple. You're going to drag it off to the side at first. And to get it to look like it's actually glowing, no stupid shit, you're going to have to first uh, mask out wherever you want it to start and finish. So masking out, you got to make sure none of these edges are not taken away because it'll just look like there's this huge bar on the side and it looks like shit. So you just want to max a mask out like right here. A little bit on the glow you can go around it I guess. But then like go back here, down, back around, down, and then back to it. Right there. That does not look really good at all. So what you're going to do is you're going to add feather type to both. And feather percentage, you're going to put this on the 14. Click enter. Sorry if you can't hear me that well. The mic's a little bit away. Anyways, now that I've clicked enter, it looks pretty decent. doesn't look too well right now. But once you adjust a bit, it's going to look really nice. Especially when it's glowing. Now that you've got that, that looks like shit. So what you're going to do is put the screen onto add. 
Now it actually looks kind of like a flare. What you're going to do now is kind of uh, adjust it so you're going to click from mask onto position. And all you're going to do is uncheck maintain aspect ratio and move it to the spot where the scope is. Oh yeah, by the way, change it back to draft in half so it's a lot easier to load. Just try and get it on the right spot of the scope, wherever you want it to be begin and end. So right now we're not going to get into um, doing the frames. We're just going to make it the same size as beginning and end. And we're going to add color curves to it. And right here, this is when it becomes your friend. Also, in matchable looks, you can add some anamorphic flare to make the flare look even nicer than it was. So what you're going to do is click animate. You're going to keep it on the same default page. Set adjust brightness and darkness. And it just makes it look really nice. So you're going to go... You're going to make like four keyframes. First one, add a keyframe. It's going to be like up and down. Second one, down even more. A little bit more to the side right here. Even more. You're going to drag this up. Drag this up too. And I guess you can add a new one if you want to. Um, and drag it down again. Drag it down again. And then on the last one, you just want to put it back to default. So it looks kind of normal, you know? Now that you've done that, it's not tracked onto the scope. So what you can do right now is highlight and click Shift B on your keyboard. So it goes through. Alright, let's see how long I've done this so far. Pretty good time, I guess. So now. This is just like tutorial talk, I could do this a lot faster, but I just have to tell you guys step by step on how to do this. So as you can see, um, each frame, it doesn't look like it's actually scoped onto it, and it looks like it puffs away, so I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of both of those. But first, let's just see how it looks. Oh, it's kind of lagging. Right there, it looks like it's glowing really well, but um, at the end, it looks like it doesn't fade away too well. I'll show you guys how to do that good. Um, now that you've done that, what you're going to do is try and track it on. So this is my trick I usually do. For the first frame, you're going to try and put it in the spot you want the scope to be on. You want to keep it in that spot the entire time. And how to do this, you're going to click on each frame, just right there. X out. Go to pan and crop. Make it a little bit bigger. little bit to the side a little bit more. I'm going to delete that frame. I did kind of bad. Make sure you click on these to make it uh, a little bit better. Now I'm going to go down to the next frame. Do the same thing again. Make a little bit bigger. A little bit more to the right. A little bit more up. Now we're also going to go on to the other frames and just do the same process. So I'm going to go again, crop it a little bit bigger, put it up a bit so it goes down, I'll move it left so it goes a little bit right, and yeah. Almost done. It's taking a bit because my computer kind of lags. You can't really see it when I'm recording it. It's really shitty. But I, I do my best. I got a computer, I'm pretty thankful. Honestly, I don't really deserve it. But, oh well. Now the last frame... Doesn't really matter, really. Just kinda make it a bit bigger. Tiny bit up. Tiny bit to the left again. And that's just what makes it look good, because it's going to be fading out, and you won't really notice, so now you're just going to make it a little bit bigger than it was, and you're going to fade it to, like, a good amount, so you could see it fading out. But when you add color correction, it looks like it actually just zooms out. Now we're going to pre-render it, see what it looks like again. As you can see, on the pre-render, it looks like it's actually staying on the scope a bit. And yeah, it looks really nice, but when it's glowing and it has color correction, it really looks like it's tracked on to the scope. 
So let's look at this again. Um, it's on a uh, draft in half, so it kind of looks like it's shaky, but it doesn't really do that. It's actually glowing. Now that we've done that, what we can do is undo that just for a sec so you can see what it looks like. Another thing we can do, magical looks, drag a default on it, click edit, and this is all you're going to do. You're going to go here, anamorphic flare, as I was saying earlier, and just add whatever color you want with it. Doesn't really matter. Make sure it's kind of low though. I like the um, the colors and everything looks nice. Soft and softened a bit, so it looks really well. All right, that's all I wanted to show you guys just for a sec. See now you see these colors. It's kind of like Transformers effect. You see that a lot in there. Now, what we're gonna do is make it look a bit nicer by adding an adjustment layer magical looks so you can look at tutorials or just use defaults on it I'm making a good color correction I'm, I make my own so yeah um, I'll just choose one randomly and uh, click it try and use it so you'll drag that onto the track and put composite right over it and it turns it into an adjustment layer makes it look really nice as you can see that looks pretty good move it a couple frames in and that just looks beautiful, right? And now it just fades in. It fades out. Um, I found it to look the best if you have a big overlay over it, too. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you do the effect. I'm not sure how long the video is. Check this. 11 minutes, not that bad. Well, this has been me, and I'm out. If you like the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And I really try hard to do these things. Alright, so peace.